What an awesome career Art Carney had at the end of the 70s. I mean, these are all very different movies. Hey everybody, welcome back to First Impressions. My name's Seth Pomeroy. I'm a filmmaker and an editor. I just watched The Late Show with Lily Tomlin and Art Carney. I've actually recently seen quite a few Art Carney movies. Going in Style, which I reviewed here on the channel, and Harry and Tonto, which I just saw at Vidiots here in Los Angeles in the theater. I'm gonna review both of these movies today and sort of talk about Art Carney's 70s output. You know, he was mostly well known for The Honeymooners. That's what I know him from. He was the next door neighbor, the wacky Kramer type character. He sort of originated that kind of character. So that's kind of all I knew of his career. I didn't know he had the 70s resurgence. But little by little, I sort of stumbled upon these other movies that he was in in the late 70s. Harry and Tonto and this one, The Late Show. Not to mention he was also in the famed, terrible <laughs> Star Wars holiday special. It was covered really well in a documentary recently called A Disturbance in the Force. Check that out. There's some Mark Carney material in there. Um, these are very different movies. Um, Harry and Tonto is a more ruminative, reflective road movie, and The Late Show is plot heavy and is sort of a, you know, it's a gumshoe mystery. Sort of in the same area as A Long Goodbye, The Thin Man, which they actually referenced in the movie, which I thought was cool. That was the first first impressions. They're very different movies, and his performance is very, very different. And Harry and Tonto, he's a man who has been uh, kicked out of his Brooklyn apartment. His kids have grown up and moved out. His wife has passed away. He just wants to keep his routine with him and his little cat Tonto. And uh, he's sort of tries to find his new home. I don't want to run the movie because it's a road movie. Its story sort of expands over time. It isn't a uh, plot-driven movie at all, and I, and I love that about it. And it's a different thing than what he's doing in The Late Show. This character is an older man. He's tired. He's been worn down by his job. He still has the gusto to solve a crime, but he's going to do it while running short of breath and sort of bitching the entire time. He's not the kind of warm character that we saw in Harry and Tonto. And it made me realize what an awesome career Art Carney had at the end of the 70s. I mean, these are all very different movies. There's something about him that's just stoic and grounded that you really feel his performances are real. And I think that's what people really responded to in Harry and Tonto and why he won the Academy Award. Watching these movies have given me so much respect for his performances, so much respect for how far he came. I mean, this is like if Kramer went on 20 years later and became this great, dramatic, older, leading man. I mean, this is a pretty uncomfortable conventional turn for someone who's the wacky character on a sitcom, you know? So I just want to pay tribute to Art Carney and say I'm blown away by these performances in the late 70s and I urge you guys to seek them out. The Late Show is on Tubi, Harry and Tonto you can track down on Blu-ray, I believe, and the Star Wars Holiday Special will never ever be released by George Lucas, but you can find bootleg copies anywhere and everywhere. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. Uh, like and subscribe and follow. Talk soon.